you feeling the funk? Are you feeling the funk? You can put your hands together. Come on. Come on. Feel the funk. Feel the funk. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Off the funk, huh? Come on. Feel it. Are you feeling it? I can't hear you. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? What about this section over here? Are you feeling it? All right, all right. In the 1960s, there was a movement in the South to migrate to the North for jobs and industry. At that time, my family moved from Milan, Tennessee to Dayton, Ohio to discover a better way of life. And that's when I was introduced to funk music at a very early age. At that time, young people were focusing on their art form and music in schools. But I was in the fifth grade at Jefferson Elementary School <laughs> learning how to play an instrument for the very first time. And I wanted to play the drums. So I went to my music teacher and asked her, can I play the drums in band class? But instead, she gave me a flutophone. She felt that the drums would be too difficult for me to learn. And she said, I couldn't keep a beat. So after school, I ran home to show my instrument to my mother and father, the flute of home. <laughs> you know, my mother was a little disappointed she knew my dreams were to play the drums. That day, in that moment, I learned something. My mother was a drug addict. She drugged me to music class. <laughs> she drugged me to drum corps for band rehearsal. She drugged me to church. She drugged me anywhere possible so I can learn how to play an instrument. <laughs> but in the 19th, early 1970s, there was a group out of Dayton, Ohio, called the Ohio Players. I used to listen to songs like Pain, Funky Worm, Skin Tight and Fire. And right then, I knew I wanted to be a drummer. Then the funk explosion took off in Dayton, Ohio for me, making the gym city the funk capital of the world. <laughs> but there were other innovators who influenced me on my journey for knowledge for funk music. In Augusta, Georgia, there was James Brown, who combined the music genres of rhythm and blues, jazz and soul to an art form which we know now as funk music. In Detroit, Michigan, George Clinton, and also in Memphis, Tennessee, Isaac Hayes. And on the West Coast, in San Francisco, influencing the message of a family and positive culture, his name is Sylvester Stewart, who later became known as his band as Sly and the Family Stone. These gentlemen, among others, planted the seed of funk music as a creative art form in Dayton, Ohio, and they too influenced my career as a professional drummer. After so many years, funk music became a lost art form, fallen to the wayside like art and music classes no longer offered in public schools until the Arts Education and Partnership in conjunction with the President's Arts and Humanities commenced the study to examine the impact and why and how a young person like me at 13 years old were changed due to their art experience. Evidence demonstrates that children with a high level of art participation outperform our poor students by virtually every measure. This study, Champion of Change, found much evidence that learning in the arts help develop habits that will support other disciplinaries. And it can often reach at-risk students when other disciplinaries cannot. The arts provides the young people with authentic learning experience that engages their minds, their hearts, their bodies. 
Art education helps students to learn. It can enhance creativity, self-discipline, and the skills and confidence necessary to meet the challenging encounters in my life as a student and as an adult. So let's do a demonstration, okay? And how to keep a funky beat and keep it on the one. <laughs> because funk music bridges the gap between all races. For example, everybody remember KC and the Sunshine Band? Y'all remember that? Okay, yeah, yeah. Remember the group Average White Band? And a group right here out of Ohio called Wow Cherry. Y'all remember that? Play that funky music white boy, right? Good, good. So let's do a, a little demonstration. So let's do a random song. See if you know this. If I go, there she was just walking down the street, you say? Wow, then that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do this. Let's put a beat to that, okay? Because that's done in a 2 4, okay? So I'm gonna count it off and I want you to help me to sing it, okay? So are y'all ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. There she goes, just walking down the street singing. One more time. There she goes, just walking down the street singing. Good, good, good. Now, funk music is on a one and a three. Okay? So let's take a bit of play that funky music white boy by Wild Cherry. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> let's take it from the part where they go, and if you know what, help me out. And they were dancing and singing and moving to the groove end. And just like it hit me, somebody turned around and shouted, Y'all are good. <laughs> Can we put a beat to that? Let's, let's put a beat to that. Let's try it again. I'm going to count you off. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three. And they were dancing and singing and moving to the groove. And just like it hit me, somebody turned around and shouted, Play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> good, good. Now, some of y'all didn't get it. <laughs> some of y'all still didn't get it. So I need you to do this. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. I want to get funky. Now, <laughs> now <laughs> turn back to your other neighbor and say, neighbor. 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 I hope he gives me another chance <laughs> to get foggy. All right, I'm going to give you another chance to redeem yourself. So everybody stand up. Come on. Everybody stand up. We're going to do a little exercise here, okay? Now, everybody knows how to spell Ohio, right? <laughs> now, if you're from Michigan, Wolverine, I understand it might be a little difficult, but we're going to spell this out using our hands and mouth at the same time, okay? So it's like this. The pattern is one, two, three, four, and O-H-I-O, and O-H-I-O. -O. Now, we're gonna add a little music to that. Y'all ready? Drop the music. Ready? Feel the funk. And what was my purpose? So I told him this, to educate the public's knowledge in the history of funk music on the one. The genre of funk music is a collective of soul and the rhythm, geared for me 
as an adult to a youth, to a professional artist and playing. As I conclude, Ohio is the heart of it all for funk music. And Dayton, Ohio is the nerve center of funk. Music is harmony. Harmony is music. Harmony is the strength and support of all institutions, especially this, funk music, the empowerment of education in my life. Thank you.